start out with the congratulations on the release, the recent release of Come to the Banquet. Um, and I, I'm yeah, curious. Oh yeah, sure. I'm I'm curious why the message of this track is so important to you personally. Um, yeah, that's a good question. So, I'm I'm a I'm a music director for a church in, uh, in North Houston, the Woodlands, Texas, and um, you know after 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 the pandemic and and kind of. Uh, as people started to, I think, try to return to some sense of normalcy that um, I know as a church, one of the things that we were talking a lot about is how, how do we invite people back? How do we, how do we ex- just re-extend the invitation? You know, like it, it's okay. And I, I don't know, like I, in my mind, there's kind of this image of, you know, like people coming out of the woods after this terrible storm, you know, <laughs> and like just kind of slowly one at a time walking into the daylight, you know, and um, for us, it was like, man, we, we want to make people feel welcome again. And even for me personally, like, you know, church is about the body of Christ. Church is about community. Church is about experiencing Jesus um, through the people around us. And so, yeah, so that whole idea um, just was resonating with me. And I, um, I kept thinking about the word banquet for some reason that 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 word popped into my head and um, I, I, I was just kind of hyper focused on the idea of a banquet and what it is and I, I kept thinking of like uh, when I was in high school that a sports banquet you know like all the <laughs> athletes would get together and, then, and you have food and you bring all your you know, all your friends come together and it's this joyful occasion you know and um, a wedding, a wedding banquet or a wedding feast, you know, is the same kind of idea that the principle of just like you gather with your loved ones and you celebrate and you come together in a meal and you, um, yeah. And you just, you are joyful. You're happy to be together. And so anyway, all of those things put together kind of were, you know, just rolling around in my mind and, and, and manifested themselves in the form of come to the banquet, the song, um, as an invitation for people, particularly at, at, at my own church to come back to come back to the Lord, come back to the table, come back to the banquet and let's experience the joy again together, you know? Um, so yeah, I, on a personal level, that really is what, what the song is about for me. It's, it's like, I, I love my faith. I love Jesus. I also know that I experience Jesus a lot through the community and the people around me. And so it's just better with everybody. So yeah. Absolutely. And I know alongside the new music, you also have a music video concept. I'm curious if you, if you take us back to how that came together, how that, you know, vision of what you had actually like exceeded your expectations seeing that uh, become real for you. Um, what, the recording itself, you mean? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, well, so, first of all, I, I brought the idea to a friend of mine. It came up in a conversation. Um, his name's Tom Booth, and he uh, ended up being a co-writer on this song because the, the more that we talked about it, the more that it was resonating with him as well, just that idea of, um, you know, coming back to the table and, uh, and I also realized that Tom and I have known each other for years and years and never written together. And so it, it was just this strange opportunity that was just like right in front of us. And um, so I was excited to, to write with him for the first time and, and then to have this song kind of just really form with such great ease, you know, and both of us just kind of fell in love with, with the melody and the lyric and the invitation. So, so then to take all of that and... Um, and, and sit down in front of a microphone with an acoustic guitar and start to, to kind of shape it and, and um, turn it into something was was a beautiful experience. And as always, the recording experience um, is in, in, a self, in itself a, a kind of its own form of community because you get together with these musicians. And in this case, um, this particular song I recorded with, with the guys that I travel with um, a lot drummer Blake Powell and uh, my guitar player Gray McCullough and so we we get, we got to uh, get in the studio together and uh, sit down and record and 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 put pieces of ourselves into uh, the parts of the songs and into the tracks so it's special in that way 
For sure. I'm curious, since the, the music has been out close to, you know, two, three weeks at this point, is there, a, like, a recurring theme that you're noticing from listener responses? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, a lot of, uh, a lot of what I'm hearing is that, that response, um, that similar thing. I mean, besides the, you know, the regular social media posts is, oh, we love it, new music, you know, whatever, <laughs> um, which is always exciting. But there, there is a, a response of like, this is, this is the invitation. Like, this is what, this is what we've been uh, wanting to hear, you know, about community. And it's strange because there's, there's such, there's such division right now. And, and so many things that, uh, you know, just really around the world, and especially today, obviously, but, um, you know, with politics and with, with different faiths and with different beliefs within our faiths, you know, um, it's so interesting to me that, um, it's, it's so hard even for Christians to come together and, um, <laughs> <laughs> and agree <laughs> so so I, I i find it interesting that as this song has kind of gone out that people have found it a, a little bit of a some common ground um and that's what i really try to shoot for with with the, all the music that i write like how can this be inclusive um not just not just about one particular faith or not just about uh one particular ideal but but really christians coming together uh to recognize that that Jesus is the Lord and, and that he's worthy of, of our deepest praise and honor. And, um, yeah, I, I hope that the song has that kind of resonance with people. That's kind of my prayer for it. Absolutely. I, I believe if I'm not mistaken, that this song is going to be the first in a series for you for throughout the year. Um, so I'm just curious how, how you're looking at this to, to kind of preview your, your upcoming music. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm excited because this is, I mean, music has changed so much over the last, um, man, even just the last five years, but but really over the last decade or two, um, the way that people consume music, the way that people uh, listen to it, talk about it, take it in, all of that's changed. Radio has changed. Um, obviously, you know, tapes cds all that stuff is like it's just all different now um and so this is the first that i'm doing in a way that is is kind of it kind of speaks to the strained music um culture that we're in and and so i really wanted to try to uh take it in bite-sized pieces one time and so come to the banquet is the first of the um, under the title outpoured um, is the is the whole project but uh, come to the banquet being the first song in that and so we'll release uh, come to the banquet was released a few weeks ago um, it will uh, there's a video coming out today which I think is just uh, an acoustic video of me playing which is new and different and something kind of fun um, and then uh, as we go on to, there's some there's a few other videos that I've done just with the song and then we'll start to see kind of We'll, we'll change our discussion, at least in social media and, and, and what the band and I are talking about um, through some of our social media and um, other outlets. We'll start to talk about the next song, Jesus, I Trust in You, and, um, and how that song has resonated with us as we played it and, and hopefully you know, create some discussion around that song. And, and with each one, we'll do that with each song. And it's kind of fun because... I mean, it changes the it changes the game a little bit, you know. Like we used to just get the whole album, and it was the whole thing, and there was maybe a couple songs that resonated, and those would be the water cooler conversation, you know. But this allows us to talk about each song individually, and gives each one of them a little bit of life. So I'm excited. That's, yeah, that's great. I'm I'm curious. You mentioned how music has changed, and it's uh, it's always evolving. I'm curious where you're currently getting inspiration and drawing inspiration for your musical sound right now. Um, yeah, so, so as I mentioned, I'm at, I'm at a church, I'm, I'm leaving worship at a church right now, and, um, and I like to write specifically for where I am, and so I, I try to, uh, and it's difficult, because this is a big church, but I, I try to identify with what's resonating with people in the church, like, what are, what is this community dealing with, what, um, what are the things that are really standing out about 
either the burdens, the trials, or the joys and the and what what's exciting to the people that are here. Um, and so that's that's really kind of the inspiration behind uh, come to the banquet and also you know, just in general the music that I'm writing right now. Um, yeah, so that kind of directed a lot of a lot of this project, as a matter of fact. That's great. And in addition to your music, you also recently launched uh, a worship series called The Way. I'm just curious what what you've learned from that experience so far. Yeah, man, the the way is awesome. And I so a, a friend of mine, Paul George, um, who is an author and a speaker and um, just a leader. I mean, he he's just a, a leader in his faith and. He's always got good things to say and insightful things to to talk about. And so he and I got together and decided to make this video series um, where people could like actually actually pray in their in their own homes with with a video um, uh, series. And so it's these short uh, ten to twelve minute, some of them maybe a little longer, fifteen minute um, videos with music where you know i'm just inviting people to sing along on some refrains and choruses and 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 spend some time in prayer a short talk on a particular topic each each video is a different topic uh and the songs all relate to that topic and and try to you know just dive into the topic itself pray on that particular topic and and then move on to the next one and so it's really like an opportunity for just nightly prayer for the family or for youth groups just to, to kind of gather around and, and talk about a particular topic for one night, you know? Um, and so I'm excited about it. I just think it, it's something new and different. And in the age of like, you know, binging shows on Netflix, here's just a good healthy option, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I hope it can be that. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, one final question for you and you can have this be a, a musical focused or not musical focused, focused answer, but what are you most expectant for in this year? Ooh, um, that's a good, that is a good question. I, I love these questions because they are not just the same old, same old questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting, number one, uh, I'm, I'm hopeful because I, I think the Lord is always doing something new and that uh, his mercies are new every morning. And so I'm hopeful for, for what is next and what lies around the corner. Um, I know that this is a different, um, this is a, it's a different chapter in life for my wife and my kids and I, um, and so I'm I'm hopeful for for what's coming. I've got a, a daughter that's a junior in high school, so she's got you know college see things are coming, and a and a son who is about to get a driver's license. So so that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so there's that whole section, you know, like our our family is just. Um, you know, obviously my family is so important to me. And so I'm, I'm hopeful for all the things that, that will come for us. But um, from a musical standpoint, I'm excited to see how um, this music will affect the community that I'm in right now and how this community will affect the music that I write and produce over the next, um, yeah, the next several years. That's awesome. I just, uh, again, just wanted to thank you, Josh, for taking the time. It's been great chatting with you and learning about mo more of what's to come. So that's, it's been great. Yeah, you too, Jesse. Thank you so much. Thanks, you too.